hello guys welcome to the dms online school in today's video we are going to look at uh, the question which is coming from uh, mass and weight so we are going to look at the question coming from mass and weight and this question is a little bit trick and that is why i've decided to bring it to you so that you must be able to answer this question correctly when you meet it in an exam so the question reads here that um, the weight of an object on the moon is uh, 300 newtons a what is its mass on earth b what is its roman numeral one mass on the moon then roman numeral two weight on the earth okay so the question as i said is coming from the topic or subtopic mass and weight and uh, the question says the weight of an object on the moon is 300 newtons then a what is its mass on earth so let's go straight into the answering so if you're answering you have to put your work in order so we'll say solutions so solutions then we'll say a First of all, we have to put data together. The information that you have been provided is known as data. So the question says the weight of an object on the moon is 300 Newton. So meaning that the weight, which is W, is 300 Newtons. Then the question says A, what is its mass? So they want mass on Earth. So mass is M so mass is m is an known there okay so for us to be able to find mass we must be able to know the relationship between weight and the mass so the relationship between mass and weight is given by the formula which says weight is equal to mass times acceleration due to gravity okay so now here we need to know also the value of the acceleration due to gravity now this is where the trick part is because you have been told to say the weight of an object on the moon is 300 newton but the question is saying what is its mass on earth so since mass is constant in the universe or is the same in the universe so since you have been told the weight on the moon so just find the mass of this object on the moon that is the trick part that you needed to know so for us to know the mass of this object on the moon we must use the acceleration due to gravity of the moon which is uh, 1.6 newtons per kilogram or kg so this is the acceleration due to gravity on the moon so once you know these are uh, variables then you substitute in the formula so you say weight weight is 300 so you say 300 newtons is equal to mass is an unknown so you say mass times uh, acceleration due to gravity is 1.6 newtons per kg now since you are looking for the mass and unknown variable here and this multiplication here it is easy to just cancel out the unwanted what you want is this so cancel out this which is not wanted by dividing by 1.6 newtons per kg now once you do this on this other side you also must do it on the other side so you also say divided by 1.6 newton per kg to maintain it equilibrium or the equality of this symbol here okay so once you do that you notice that this value will cancel completely okay so that if you remain with m then on this side newton and newton will cancel then you divide 300 by 1.6 to find the value of four mass so say 300 300 divided by 1.6 we are getting 187.5 okay so say okay so we are getting here 187.5 then the unit remaining here is the kg so we'll put kg then is equal to mass so here we'll say then 
therefore mass is equal to 187.5 kg or kilogram so this is the answer to this question here which says uh, what is its mass on earth okay so that is the mass on earth then let's move to b what is its roman numeral one mass on the moon so we are on b roman numeral one so b roman numeral one they want the mass on the moon so remember what we have just found is the mass on the moon which is also mass on the earth so you are just going to say since mass is the same in the universe in the universe then you are going to say hence the mass on the moon on the moon is the same is the same on earth so you say mass on the moon On the moon is 187.5 kilogram just like that so it's important that you put together concepts like this then you come back to the second part of the question which says uh, weight on earth so Roman numeral 2 is asking us to find weight on earth so say okay we are looking for weight so also put down our data like what are we looking for weight so say this time around weight is the question mark what else do we know we know that mass now is constant and it is 187.5 kg now we are looking for mass on earth so we need to know the acceleration due to gravity on earth so the acceleration due to gravity in zambia we use it 10 newtons per kilogram so in other countries it is 9.8 but in zambia we have decided to be using 10 newton because we have actually rounded off that 9.8 so we are using 10 10 newton per kilogram so in most textbooks textbooks in zambia the acceleration due to gravity is 10 newton per kg okay so having that now we will put our formula together which says uh, weight is equal to mass times acceleration due to gravity then we are going just to substitute mass 187 this one here so say 187.5 kg okay then time c then acceleration due to gravity which is 10 so say 10 newtons per kg okay so once we do that then we are going to multiply so we will multiply 187.5 times 10 which will give us 1875 then this kg and this kg will cancel will remain with newton so it will be newton like that so that will be our answer there all right so if this video has helped you please give it a like let me know in the comment section and remember also to subscribe follow and also uh, share so for now bye and see you in the next video peace